Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Women's Changing Room. I am Danessa. And I am Jeanette. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. You have stepped inside the Women's Changing Rooms. Come on in, where all is strict there. We transverse the globe to uplift and empower our women. Yes. So, Vanessa, what do you have for us today? Well, today we are doing part two uh, from last week's uh, podcast, where we spoke about bleaching of the skin. We also spoke about the different procedures that we get done on our bodies. So we're going to review that. And then we are going to touch on the different hair extensions um, that we use as women and the excessive or overuse of the different um, cosmetics that we put on our skin. So are you ready to dive in to our topic today? Yes, I'm ever ready. <laughs> yep. Definitely. Last week we had so much um, to talk about on the bleaching and, and you know, changing our bodies. So mm. we were like, okay, that is too long. So we need to come on and continue the topic and then add in um, a little extra that falls under um, our discussion. Yeah, definitely. Um, it was it was quite a heavy topic, mm -hmm. I think, last week, mm -hmm. and um, we didn't get to talk much about the bleaching, mm -hmm. which is another solid. <laughs> it's a solid topic, so I think yeah. yeah, definitely we had to come back with a part two, with that one for that one definitely. Yeah. So, so yeah. So based on what we were saying last week, we were saying the so doing different procedures like whether it be the lip fillers or uh, the breast um reduction or adding on you know using it we were saying basically um for us we're scared to to get anything done but we we thought about it actually um yeah. and then we were saying um it was like if it is up to you if you want to get it done but make sure you do your research basically yeah 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 that's pretty much yeah yeah that in a nutshell basically it's just you know everyone's to their own we can't say what one should do mm -hmm. with their body and stuff but um yeah if you're gonna do a procedure like that it's just do your research weigh out the pros and cons of it all mm -hmm. and you know, yeah, that's it, really. Yeah. That's really, I think we actually finished talking on the bleaching and we just didn't get to finish that part yeah. of the segment last week. Okay, the bleaching segment? Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. Because I remember, well, for that one, I mean, we were saying that we're, you're free to do whatever you want. It's not like we're telling you no, 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 no but we have our opinions. So we were like, I was more open to, okay. Cause I was talking about my flat bum and if anything, I'll do that. But then mm -hmm. when we, we got to the bleaching aspect, I was like, no, no, no. Like, mm -hmm. why would you, because I think maybe because I'm colored, I have um, on both sides, the brown side, the, the black side, I have family on, both aspect and for me um I love my skin color and I I don't know why somebody else would want to change their skin color or maybe I do know because of what happened based on history but I was still adamant of the fact that you know what yes we have this history yes people look at us differently but we are so beautiful like our black I'm not saying that we are superior over the others, but I'm just saying that my black and brown people, we are so beautiful and we shouldn't have the others telling us that our skin color is not beautiful. And because of that, we want to change it and we want to lighten it. So for me, I was like, mm -mm, no, no, no for this bleaching at all. Yeah, um, I'm the same. I'm so against it. I just think like, 
just be happy with like the skin tone, the body that you're in. But then as you're saying that, I'm thinking, so for people who actually bleach, they may say, well, they're a bit of hypocrites because that they will go and change their, all right for people to go and alter their body and put mm-hmm. implants and stuff, stuff like that. But people who wants to change the actual skin color Mm -hmm. they're saying oh they're so against it yeah but I I for me I think it's more deeper it goes real deeper than just altering your 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 body I mean being black it's a beautiful thing Mm -hmm. and I think it stems down to our history as well and what we've been through as black people yeah I mean to to then go and try and take away mm-hmm. your blackness your identity mm-hmm. um of being well it's kind of like your identity of being black really mm-hmm. it's just I'm just so against it I just think it's there's more behind all of that than just yeah. going to get surgery done um mm-hmm. you know because you know it's, it's crazy it's crazy yeah. I think you should just be <laughs> to be honest I think you should just be happy with what you've been given mm-hmm. in all aspects mm-hmm. of like whether it is going to get surgery or bleaching your skin you know mm-hmm. you God made you a certain way and mm-hmm. you should embrace it mm-hmm. but in terms of bleaching I'm just nah I'm so mm-hmm. against it yeah totally and it's unfortunate because of our history but I think because I mean, we're not, it's not like we're for um, the different procedures and everything. It's not like we're for it, like we're open to it. But I think because we are black women um, mm. and we see how when you bleach and you see how your skin change and whether it, it becomes really fragile and the color it turns to it's it's like a different it's not like you're getting way like lighter because it has that like tint to it I I really can't um explain it as much but the way it looks it doesn't look as great as so maybe because I've seen people have done it and I can see what it does to their skin I can see like different health risk that can happen Mm. I just believe that you know just stick to your your skin and most of the times uh people bleach if not all of the time they bleach because um how other people see them or how other people portray them and in the media yeah yeah, we were talking about social media and we were talking Mm. about how um it's out there for everyone to see versus how it was a long time ago so now people they're seeing this and they're like okay let me experiment and let me do it but when people want to go back or want to stop bleaching right their skin changed drastically from how they mm-hmm. started so yeah. with, with procedures also you have that risk if you want to take it out or stop it but the risk of getting fillers and then well not the excessive one but like getting yeah. a few fillers and then stopping your lip don't change as much as if you you bleach your skin yeah yeah it's true it's true um it's crazy like even going out in the sun like you, it's dangerous I think yeah. when you bleach mm-hmm. to go out in the sun it is you can't really go out in the sun yeah. and stuff and it's just sort of it's sad because I just feel like some people think I don't know like I don't know what people think why they would yeah. want to go and bleach mm-hmm. but I'm thinking is it that they think that they'll be socially accepted if they've got a lighter skin tone well so that is what is going on now yeah yeah because now the mulattoes, mulattoes are the mix or like when you see the girls on, on Instagram or TikTok, it's either they're Caucasian or either they're mixed. You know, yeah. the black yeah. girls, you hardly see the black girls or the brown girls up there on the social media. I'm not saying that there isn't any, but the majority of them, they're, they're Caucasian or they're mixed. So the trend right now is the mix. So if they can just yeah. get their, their skin to switch a little, then maybe they're they're trying to I don't know maybe they're thinking maybe that 
that I just think like black it's, it's beautiful you know dark skin dark skin women their skin I think it's just beautiful yeah when they like all black no matter whether you're dark brown you know mm-hmm. you we're just I don't know we're blessed <laughs> yeah and we're all different we were talking about that I can't remember if it was last week but in one of the the episodes we were saying we're all different whether it's by our mm. attitude the way we look our body size it doesn't matter yeah. because we all can be the same otherwise it was going to be okay. a dull world I think when we were talking about um yes the way we look yeah so yeah. we are all different and yes what happened to us back in the past um it's shaped and it's we're conditioned that way but just as we have other things on social media um and i'm seeing a i'm seeing a change in our switch in that too where our black girls are coming out and showing that no matter what the shade you are you're beautiful you can make it we have people in different walks in life and and we can see it more now because of the whole social media we can see we have executives and ceos and we have people who who are not they own their own stuff and they do their own thing and we just need to just have all of that out there for all the, the people who are bleaching you know can see that and it, it's so funny Jeanette you have people in the Caribbean that are bleaching and one of the, the okay. thing that you do when you bleach you need to um, cover up put on layers and you know how hot it is here in the Caribbean so yeah. imagine how hot they are with their jacket and everything on and they're going out I'm just sitting here and you can actually see I am sweating yeah. oh. much less for, for them being out there in the sun close you know crazy. to the equator it's crazy yeah thank you people please don't yeah and even though like even if you want to just like if it's your preference you want to be have like for health reasons just get a like a foundation <laughs> or something so you can like, move it just get yeah so you can always move it at least it's less risk yeah. to your health than actually Bleaching. what what, what health can you be um going through to to want to bleach to to prevent something do we know of any but i don't so i'll try to get it so like you know um we were saying uh people get breast reduction because you know their posture it hurts you know different things it's too much to carry especially a petite person or maybe even a a curvy person also so what Mm -hmm. could be a health factor for someone that chooses okay they would bleach to prevent something from happening because i don't i don't know no there isn't yeah there's nothing what could happen it's just your skin yeah. it's your 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 yeah color <laughs> if anything <laughs> it opens you up to different um cancers yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So i don't know I, 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 <laughs> yeah. I don't know Me i don't know about that one but yeah I just, I don't know. It's not, yeah. it's nothing I would say to anyone to, yeah, okay, if you want to do it, I'll just blatantly. If someone came up to me, he's like, oh, I want to bleach, I'm like, don't do it. Yeah, don't <laughs> no. do it. Why do you want to bleach? Why do you want to? Yeah. And if they're listing their reasons why, because if they know, then uplift them let them know they're beautiful let them know to me, i just think it's like a socially accepted thing and it's all to do with the mind mm-hmm. as well yeah. because there's no nothing that could be physically mm-hmm. like want you to to bleach like there's yeah. nothing yeah. that could say oh well i want to bleach because of this effect that is it's all in the mind mm-hmm. and it's all yeah. about the social what you see yeah and what you idolize yeah you know and, and if you're around only... people who don't like you for your skin tone or for other reasons why are you even around them in the first place exactly mm-hmm. exactly so crazy yeah 
So that's the procedures mm -hmm. and that's the, the uh, whole um, bleaching segment. So yeah. all right, we feel comfortable moving on. Oh, we want yeah, to yeah. talk more about it. Oh, no, but... let's move on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so which one are we going to talk about? Uh, our extensions that we love so much, uh, no matter what race you are. Oh, you want to yeah. go on to... Okay, that one. Oh, let's go on to makeup. As we're talking about skin. Yes. Go on to makeup. Okay. Yeah? Let's do the makeup. So, makeup. Right, my thoughts on makeup. Every woman wears makeup regardless whether yeah. it's like a little lipstick lip yeah. balm mm -hmm. you know you, we all wear it. it's all makeup it comes yes. under makeup mm -hmm. we all wear it it is um so yeah I I like wearing makeup mm -hmm. I don't plaster it on and do all the this layer that layer this layer that I haven't got time for that and mm -hmm. no it's just it's just long yeah but yeah I will put on my foundation do a little mm. bit of a what highlight and mm. lipstick and whatever and yeah. eyes and eyelashes mm. yeah like I think it just for me I feel like it just enhance your beauty okay to extent so, so then you have yeah then you have mm -hmm. women that completely change I've seen like these tutorials <laughs> I've seen these tutorials and I'm like when you see the before and the after I'm like girl <laughs> what's happening here I'm like are you for real like seriously no I think I just think it's it's deceiving mm -hmm. it really is deceiving like even though we all wear makeup, you may have blemishes. When you take off your makeup, you've got a bit of blemish. Yeah. But some of them, they're a whole completely mm. different person. Yeah. It's crazy. The structure and all, you know, they have the tape and they have everything. Like, and yeah. like when you see them, they're totally different. That's why men usually say we're deceiving them when it comes to, <laughs> you know, all the makeup and and yeah, yeah, yeah. The extensions and everything. Ooh. It's true. It's crazy. It's it's yeah. the crazy one. Like I wouldn't say, oh, maybe we'll do. everyone wears makeup. Most women mm -hmm. wear makeup. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know any woman that don't put like a little lipstick or just a little, you know, yeah. just to make a little thing. But yeah. I don't know. No, for me, like I don't. Uh, yes, I do wear makeup because I do use little. Um, but for me, I women just want to, they're going somewhere, at least for me, you're going somewhere and you want to look a bit different than how you are every day. So yeah. for me, whenever there's a special occasion, so like my birthday is this Saturday, there are certain things that I'll do if I have to, um, like usually on holidays or different things like Christmas, you know, different things that I have, birthdays, you know, I would do certain things. So the things that I would do is um, shave my eyebrows because I have thick eyebrows. All right. So I'll just shape it a little and then it looks oh, yeah. so nice when I shape it. So yeah, I do yeah. that. And, mm -hmm. and then I use um, lipstick or lip gloss mm. sometimes I use a mascara sometimes oh, yeah. because I already have long lashes and they're sort of full so I only when I'm I don't have on my glasses I'll put on some and what else yeah. do I use oh and I use a little highlighter so I just highlight the you know the areas I yeah. used to when I was younger I used to use um what do they call this I what I um eyeliner no makeup, eyeshadow. Eyeshadow. eyeshadow I used yeah, to yeah. use that yeah when I was younger but I think that's it that's all I I do in terms of makeup makeup but yeah it's it's little because I think that that works for me once I do that and then on my special occasions like if maybe I have a, a date or something I just want to look pretty then I mm -hmm. I do this these um uh, things and I think it it works well for me I've never done like 
uh, like a full beat, like a full face. I think I did it when I was once, and I think a Mary Kay. I hope I'm pronouncing the name wrong. Mary Kay or Mary Kate. Um, Mary Kay. One of the people who sells, you know, when I was oh, a yeah, kid, um, she was like, okay, well, let me show you how it is. And it's nowhere close to how um, these girls do it now. It was like, yeah, I had a little thing, thing here, there and everywhere. Yeah. But it was nothing drastic um, to say, oh my goodness, she looks different. All right, that doesn't look like Danessa. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, like, people do what they want to do, because we always say that. That's why. Do what you want to do. But when it comes, there's a thin line where you you look pretty or you, you do it to emphasize on different things. There's a difference yeah. between that and then looking a comp completely opposite person and having other people second guess you and having the men um degrade us and talk about us yeah. based on how much we use like do you wear foundation no i don't oh you don't okay. no i haven't no yeah i mean i wear foundation and stuff mm -hmm. um I don't wear it every day. Mm -hmm. like if I want to take pictures or whatever, or mm -hmm. I'm going out, then I'll put it on. But, yeah. you know, some people, they have to leave the house with makeup yeah. and stuff. Mm -hmm. That's not me. And as soon as I get home, I have to take it off because it just feels like heavy. On my, it feels so uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. But now I've got makeup on or whatever yeah. we're filming. But... As soon as I'm taking it off, washing my face, doing my skincare and things like that, because nah, like I can't. <laughs> exactly. I can't carry on for like, you know, if I'm in the house, mm -hmm. it's it's coming. I can't have it on. Okay. It feels so uncomfortable. But mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know. Um to each its own. I didn't... Sorry. To each its own, everybody. Um yeah. and I guess if you grew up with it, like my culture. It's not as soon as you turn a teenager, you start wearing makeup. Mm. No, Ma a matter of fact, in the schools, our schools are so strict on certain things. You can't even wear makeup. Well, makeup to go to um to secondary school, which is high school. We can't. Yeah, good. It's out of the rules. While well, some cultures have that. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Like over here, you see, like teenagers, they go into school and they face full beat makeup and stuff it's crazy you'll be going back exactly. home come to Grenada and any secondary school and you have that on the slightest you can the most you can probably have is maybe some lip gloss or lip balm but it can't be excessive otherwise yeah you're going back home or you're going to stay out the gate and wait until you fix yourself before you can come yeah yeah. yeah yeah mm -hmm. it's true it's true it's just um so it yeah I mean, where you're from it does it does and sometimes it's nice to have like a little little enhancement but even though like some people it just takes them hours like they're like oh yeah I need a whole good two hours to do your makeup I'm like what <laughs> two hours <laughs> I've seen you know like different videos like on YouTube and stuff yeah. well, like they're like oh okay two hours to do my makeup I'm like huh oh okay I'll be staying home then because if after two hours <laughs> two hours yeah I'll be going to bed after that exactly but the thing is they've got all these different layers there you have to foundation then you've got to bake and then you've got to do this and then you go and you do your your contour and then you do your lashes and then you do your eye but then it's just mm -hmm. oh my god I am <laughs> uh, yeah, I, um, I mean I don't think maybe I'll get into maybe I'm not sure because I'm open to it maybe I'll get into the makeup aspect but I don't think I like all of that and the thing is I sweat a lot and being in Grenada mm. we don't have all that options okay like maybe the whatever the water free whatever they call it once so yeah, when you do that it. yeah you have to order it right and when you order mm. it they charge you so much to clear it and then mm. if you choose to buy it from somebody here then their prices are so 
inflated because they had yeah. to pay it to, so they need to make their money from it mm. so it's like it's to me it's like okay i'm spending all this money here and sometimes it's not the water resistant one and then i sweat so much and we're in the tropics so it's hot even when it's oh, raining yeah. it's hot and I have to walk outside. And I'm, yeah. yeah, and I'm always wiping. I'm always touching my face, wiping, doing something. So it's it bummed to come off. So I didn't see the reason why I should, like, you know, do that. So okay. the little that I do, it helps. The little, especially if I have a good hairstyle and my eyebrows mm -hmm. are done. Like, that yeah. changed my face completely. Yeah. So... I can understand that. I can understand in Grenada because it's like sometimes it's pointless because you just wipe it off anyway. Yeah. <laughs> but I, mind you, it has some girls down here that 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 do it out. Mm. <laughs> they use their makeup, so that's for sure. Yeah. You, but I guess they don't sweat as much as I do, or mm. I don't know. I don't like to see the the two tone like like the face is completely different to the neck and maybe the shoulders mm. or whatever and I think that is um something I need to get out of my head because if you look at my face my face and my neck is a complete different color different. okay <laughs> so I'm yeah, like yeah. why am I judging people with their makeup and then their neck is different but for me it is because my face and lower hair is different to my different neck for sure. yeah uh, but I, I mean judge. yeah but I suppose I mean we're all different parts of our bodies, different times. They say our hands are light and our face is this, that, you know, so it's mm -hmm. just, yeah. It's just Some one of, of those them things. Some it with the makeup aspect. Of yeah. It. Um, and I, well, I guess they're learning and they'll learn how to do it better and all of the things that they have to maneuver. But I just but feel again, like- it's all down to preference as well. Mm -hmm. Like it's, 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 if they want to like, feel comfortable with caking up and putting all the makeup on so mm -hmm. be it you know yeah and you I can't if that's what you want that's what you want you know yeah just don't yeah. um put bad name out there for the others for the rest of us um especially in the mm -hmm. field with guys and mind you the guys love that huh but then they complain that <laughs> the person who they they pick up or the person who they start to talk to um looks completely different when when yeah, they get yeah. close or whatever the next morning but that's what they go for usually the guys um the girls that are bare faced or whatever in the club or wherever they had to go for them and then they come yeah home. yeah <laughs> it's so funny yeah it's true and then they Crazy. complain and say well you guys are not authentic or you guys are putting on too much makeup and you guys do this and that but when you pick them up that's what you like to see that's what they like yeah yeah mm -hmm. that's what they attracted to initially mm -hmm. exactly <laughs> so, so stop funny. complaining guys yeah oh. exactly yeah <laughs> yeah so then it, that brings us on to the hair yeah so wear your makeup girls do your do girls just don't get carried away too much make sure the toning <laughs> is is right yeah make sure yeah. you're not um making these guys fall for somebody else and when they wake up next mm -hmm. to you is somebody different yeah it's true all That's right true. yeah so hair so yeah hair yeah what you got to say about the hair hair <laughs> I think hair is kind of like the makeup too. The guys always complain, wear your natural hair, wear your natural hair. But when they mm -hmm. find you, most of the time you don't have your natural hair. But for yeah. hair, for me, that was something big here for me growing up. Like, you know, we mm -hmm. have kind of, we have our three breaks during school. So we have our carnival, we have Easter, um, we have Christmas. So mm -hmm. most of the time for me with my mom, it was showing kind of our time which is summertime that's when we were okay we're gonna get our hair done 
you know it was later yeah. because my mom was always strict so in the beginning it was like okay putting beads and different things so you can shake or do something but like when uh, yeah. you get older we would have our extensions or our braids in you know do all of the yeah. stuff so I was like okay I we we look forward to that now on the other hand little kids have on braids playing and at once as soon as school breaks I don't know if you're gonna hear this over the audio, but it started to, to rain right now. It's sunny, it's scorching outside, but it is raining. I can't hear anything. Okay, so I can't yeah. Hear anything. Oh, so d- now we have girls, little children. I mean, five year olds have on braids, but nevertheless, do what you gotta do, parents. Do what you want. Mm. But I was, I always look forward to to that. Because that way, you know, you're out of school because, you know, school, we're strict. We can't have anything. So I'm like, oh, I don't want it's extension. So I think growing up that way, now I love to get braids done. I haven't yeah. done it in a while, but I do braids. And I'm, I prefer wigs than um, weaves. So like in my, like okay. when I graduated, I used to have weaves, but no, I think I prefer wig because I don't like to be, it's hot hair. And I, as I yeah. said before, I always sweat. So like, as yeah, soon yeah. as I'm done with the occasion, I'll just rip it out and then go back to my, to my natural hair. To natural, yeah. Yeah. So that's yeah. what I do. Yeah. I mean, I like to wear wigs, wigs, ponytails. Yeah and stuff braids yeah like I'm always switching it up and stuff so it's I don't know what to yeah. say about it really no <laughs> I, I know right and I know so mm, go ahead I think it's our culture mm-hmm. braids for sure is our culture we the one extensions we used to braid our hair like and that stems down back to mm-hmm ancestors you know this is something that we do is our Mm -hmm. culture um and stuff so yeah we all grew up and that's what connects us as well um is that we all no matter where in the world like black women are we all have braids we all whether we get older we not have it but when we was younger you know our parents are sitting us down braiding our hair and things Mm -hmm. like that so whether a little piece of extensions added to it or whatever but yeah and then we have the beads <laughs> the beads added yeah. to the ends and stuff I used so, to yeah. love the beads even mm. when I was like even a bit older I would always want the beads especially for carnival time see girls yeah, yeah. With beads in our hair shaking everything yeah. I'm shaking pretending like yeah, I yeah, have yeah. extension on so yeah it was fun yeah I think that's that's definitely something that's that connects us all that we can all you know relate to mm-hmm. is when that time when we're getting our hair braided yeah <laughs> for exactly. or whatever. every weekend get that hair mm. braided yeah yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I don't I for me like I like to experiment with my hair because I don't do much. Mm. Like I don't wear all the makeup. I mean, mm. I don't do much when it comes to clothes, you know, jewelry, mm. maybe tattoos. I don't do much on that end. So for me, yeah. it's the hair aspect. Like I was skeptical to start to do different things with my hair, whether it's my natural hair or changing my natural hair to perms or, you know, do different things. I was very skeptical. Mm-hmm. So until maybe I finished college here, I had my natural hair. And then when I went to the States, because I didn't know much about it, I wouldn't be around family, right? People were like, okay, auntie braid my hair or mommy do something to my hair. I was yeah. like, okay, I need something where that is easy. So that's when I decided to straighten my hair. And then okay. I was like, oh, that's a different look. And when I came back, I went back natural. And then I think I did the dry curl. And I really mm-hmm. loved that one. But that one acted up my, my cerebral dermatitis. So I was like, oh. back to natural it is. So now what I do yeah. is, is either I put um, braids in my hair mm-hmm. or I, I wear my wig. 
So yeah, and it, it helps because I don't do much. So it always helps. That's pretty much me as well. I don't really, I've stopped relaxing my hair. I'm mm-hmm. just natural, same braid wigs, things like that. Or if I put it up in the back, like the pony, whatever. Mm-hmm. But apart from that, I mm-hmm. stop. Mm-hmm. I used to dye my hair, everything, oh. all sorts of, cut my hair, mm. short, done so much things when I was younger. Yeah. Now I'm like, no. Yeah, I, I cut my hair once, up. all the way down. And that was maybe about a year ago. Or oh, yeah. A year. So I did that. Um, but like, color, like, when I was younger, like, because I grew up in a strict household, there's certain things mm. I didn't even want to do, even when I was uh, an adult. I didn't want to do yeah. that. So I remember I was like, okay, I'm going to um, color the pom-pom in my hair. I was like, mommy, she like color the pom pom in my hair. And I don't, you know, and I'm asking, I'm asking mommy for permission. Oh. It's like, oh, I wouldn't recommend it, but do what you want to. And I'm like, okay, let me just do a little, just in case if I don't like it. Yeah. And I did a little brown. I didn't do anything excessive, but I always wanted to color my hair red. Mm-hmm. But I haven't. Yeah. I've done that. Done that yeah. as well. Yeah. So let's just quickly touch on because you mentioned about piercings and stuff and tattoos do you have any tattoos or piercings no I well I have piercing I have this one right here and that's Mm. it um tattoos no but let me let me tell you from ever (laughs) since I think it was like maybe five years ago five seven Mm. five years ago I was like okay every time it's my birthday I am going to get a next person a pair. Or I'm gonna yeah. get a tattoo. Mm-hmm. Well, let me tell you, that never happened <laughs> because every time my birthday come around, I'm like, no, I'm not gonna get it. Uh, should I get it? No, I'm not gonna get it. I've never asked my mom if I should get a tattoo because I know what her answer would be already. So I would yeah. ask her. But for the person, yeah. I was like, can I get a person? And reluctantly, one day she said, yeah. But I feel like, you know, I think it's based on how I grew up. I'm like, okay, mm. no, I'm not ready. I have to always make up my mind for something. So I don't have extra person, just this two hair on my ear mm. and yeah. no tattoos as yet. But I do want. Okay. Yeah. I, do I don't have any tattoos no. I don't have no tattoos I've only got my ears two ears pierced and my nose at the mm-hmm. moment um I used to have my tongue pierced I had to take it out when my when I was having my son actually um when I was giving birth they made me take it out and from since then I've never put it back in I really like that piercing Mm. and it was always something that I always wanted to have but I thought I could never have it Mm -hmm. then I went and got it done I was like I love that piercing I didn't go back to get it done so it's not in I had this pierced here Uh okay I took that out just before having my son Uh I had my wrist pierced you could I don't know if you could still see the mark Oh, you had yeah. it in your wrist it pierced? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. A bar going through oh. there that was pierced. And then it wasn't healing because it's the place, it's always getting banged and stuff. Mm-hmm. So I just went for them to take that out. Oh. And yeah, that is mm-hmm. it. And I've had that pierced, that part, I took it out. Yeah. But yeah, I have no tattoos though. But piercings, I used to, when I was younger, I used to yeah. love it get a piercing but I've just got my ears and my nose so you now. have one on your earlobe <laughs> one yeah one. I've got um one on my earlobe okay. and one just a, above here so above, two okay. above there yeah yeah and I've got thick but oh, this is just a clip on it's not pierced okay. I like to see the mm. nose but I like it with mm. the very small stud or, you know, the the one that goes like this, like the hook or whatever. I like to it's see really, that one really, on yeah. people, not on myself, but on people. And I like yeah, to see yeah. the one here right below the lip or above the yeah. lip. I like to see them on people, but not on myself. Not on yourself. No. 
because I always yeah, see, you know, the little jewelry that you can just have and just put it there to see what it's going to be mm-hmm. like. I always used to do that um, to see, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I know. Mine it's, has um, up. it's nice. It's nice. Now I'll just, I wouldn't, maybe if I, I may get wood. I don't know. I was always saying, oh, I'm going to go back and get my tongue pierced. I'm like, nah, I'm too old for that now. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. But, I'll be able to go through that again. Oh, yeah. I love to see it on people. For the the mm. makeup, the hair extensions, the, the tattoos, the piercings, you know, I like to see at a certain degree, I like to see it on people, you know, because I yeah. think I live by curiously through people. So if they have something mm. that I like, but I don't think necessarily that I'm going to get for myself, I'm like, oh, yeah. it looks nice. I like it. So, yeah. 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 It's, yeah. Sometimes it's nice to, some. it suits some people, but it may not be, you may not feel like, oh, well, that's for me, but for me, yeah. it looks nice on the next person, you know? Mm-hmm. So it's true. Yeah. What about nails? Do you get your nails done? I do. The nails is just like um when I am judging up myself, like so for my birthday, especially for my birthday, I yeah do that. Yes. Yeah. So my nails, well, toes, uh, my eyebrows. And yeah, that's what I do. Yeah. So I'll be going Thursday yeah. to get that done. I'm not sure for my eyebrows because my best friend does my eyebrows and he has been the one to okay. do my eyebrows all the time. And I think he okay. can also work with it, my thick eyebrows. So I'm not sure when he's yeah. going to do that. But for my hair and my nails and so forth, I'm going Thursday to get all zhuzh Oh, nice. Yeah. Birthday. Yeah, <laughs> get it older. No. Oh. <laughs> I bet you're going to be celebrating. I am. I'm actually going. I have the Friday, though. I'm going. Uh, my sister and my mom is taking me to Sandals uh, to, on Ooh. a day pass. So I am going to get <laughs> to nice. that. I'm excited oh, for that. I'm not that sure what so I'm nice. doing for my actual birthday as yet, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, enjoy. Oh, my God. Sandals. Thank you. I know, right? Oh I'm like, God. bougie, bougie over here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't Real know. I love bougie. celebrating <laughs> birthdays. Pardon? I love celebrating birthdays. I think that's why I go all out, especially for my birthday. Um, Just to have that extra oomph. You know? Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. So, yeah. I don't really celebrate for my birthday. No, why? I, don't. I make up for my. I don't know. I never have. Like I never really want to be make a fuss. But mm-hmm. I think I make up for it for my son's birthday. Mm-hmm. So when it's me, I'm like I'll go all out. But for me, I'm like, Mm-mm. yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I'm always I'm, <laughs> on people's birthday too. I don't know. I don't know if it's my horoscope. I don't know if it's just me as a person. But like I just feel like. Why would somebody have a birthday, especially? It's, you know, it's a day that you were put into this world. Like, why? Yeah, would you, I don't yeah. like when people have to celebrate their birthday on their own, unless it's something that they want to do. But I just feel yeah. like maybe just giving them a little token or actually being with them. I think, yeah. Um, yeah, because maybe I don't want that for myself, you know. Yeah. I always want to make um, others feel special on their birthday. I don't their know, birthday, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's true. Mm-hmm. Like, mind you, I do get, like, a cake and stuff, and or I may just go, like, a mm-hmm. quiet little dinner, yeah. depending, you know, mm-hmm. but I just don't go all out for yeah. it. <laughs> oh, I think yeah. it started when I was younger, because out of all my mom's children, I'm the only mm. one, well, that really got birthday parties. Um, so that's where it started, maybe. I don't know. Because I always had like, um, that celebration aspect. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. Yeah. And my grandma, she loves to bake. My mom, too. But my grandma would always bake me cakes. It had a year. I had like oh. three cakes from my grandma. So it's like, I don't know, maybe. Um, oh, wow. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> but so anyways, nice. enough of the birthday, the birthday talk. I know, yeah. birthday. Gosh, 
we went off track <laughs> yes i know right but yeah cool. so <laughs> let's get back into changing so basically i just have to say there are certain things that i'm for and there are certain things that i'm against so i'm mm. against the excessive use of makeup but i wouldn't tell mm. you i would never come and say jeanette you have on too much makeup mm. and you need to wipe it out no, I wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't dare do that. Even if I'm thinking it, I wouldn't dare do it. Maybe if it's, if you have a smudge or something, I'll tell yeah, you, yeah, um, yeah. you need to fix that or you need to do this or whatever. But that's just mm. one example. So like the people who the, does the cosmetic surgery and they put on the makeup or they have on maybe a wig or to weave that maybe I don't like personally, um, mm. I won't come out flat out and tell you, you're not looking good, change it. However, yeah. for the bleaching, it's a no, no for me. It's a no, no, an X for yeah. me. Don't do it. Again, I won't come and tell you, your skin is not looking good. You are beautiful the way you were. I won't come and tell you that, but it's going to be a no. Mm -mm. Yeah. So that's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. all I have on that. Yeah. Uh, for me, I mean, I don't know, with the makeup, there is women that wears excessive or whatever, but I don't necessarily see, I mean, I say, like, oh my gosh, like, she's got a lot of makeup on, da, 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 da. but then again, it's everyone's preference, whatever, mm -hmm. like you said, I won't go and say, oh, Mm -hmm. excuse me you've got a bit too much makeup on love yeah. <laughs> you know that's the, it comes across rude yeah. like then that means you know. you're being rude. It's my close friend and this is my friend and I'm like listen tone it down a bit that bit you need to you know you then was, fair enough you were telling yeah. friend that if it's yeah if it's my close friends and yeah. like we've got that kind of you know I'll just say look you've got a bit too much mm -hmm. and you might look a little bit pink orange and I would expect someone, if I'm not looking right, mm -hmm. I'd rather them tell me than me going out looking like, you know. But yeah, other than that, I don't know. It's, um, I'd rather someone to wear makeup yeah. than to go and bleach their skin, you know. Yeah. That's like, if they want to make themselves look lighter through makeup, do it. Mm -hmm. Then bleaching your skin because that's a whole different that's just yeah a whole different ball game mm -hmm. so yeah and, sorry I said you can wash out the makeup yeah you can wash out the makeup it's less mm -hmm. effect I mean the most it could do is just like um your skin spots and stuff uh-huh you know, it's not exactly. yeah 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 but um other than that with um cosmetic surgery and stuff again it's up to you yeah you know if you want to do it you do it whether I am for it mm -hmm. no I'm not for it but you do whatever makes you happy really. yes I don't know I'm saying that but it just still sounds, yeah. sounds contradicting you know mm -hmm. it does sound contradicting mm -hmm. but like I said before the bleaching is a there's a lot more behind it than, yeah. than just yeah. you know That's just the bleaching of the skin. Mm -hmm. So yeah. yeah. So that is really it. We are done. We part upon yeah. part two. Yeah. Of the we finish with it. it seems as like if we have a lot to say on that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Guys, let up, do you know what? Let us know your thoughts on what we discussed today and last week. Mm -hmm. And yeah, your preferences. Let us know. What do you think? Are you for it? Are you for cosmetic surgery? Are you for bleaching? Mm -hmm. Let us know. Yeah. And, you know, it'll be interesting to hear your thoughts yeah. on the topic. Would you tell somebody if they have too much makeup or they're doing too much um, surgery, yeah. would you tell them about it? Or are you gonna judge them from the side? What are you gonna do? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Let us know, especially if it's like 
your friend if it's a close mm-hmm. friend of yours and yeah you would you tell them or would you not tell them mm-hmm. and why would you not tell them are you scared to hurt their feet of hurting their feelings yeah. or you know mm-hmm. let us know let us know yeah, yeah. and that is the okay. end i think that is the end of, of the podcast um, bye yeah but, oh before we go minutes, uh, before we go in the description um on our youtube we have where you can follow all the um social media for the women's change in room and we also have Jeanette's information where you can go follow her and for me also you can go follow me on my different platforms as well so go ahead and do that feel free to do that and we want to involve you more especially um on instagram um when we put up different things especially when we do the relationship dilemmas so please follow us and get ready to be very much interactive there jeanette is doing an amazing job on our instagram so go on and follow it guys and facebook join our group we've got our facebook group up and running join us guys we want to make this into a whole new movement yeah just yeah. empowering women yes so yeah guys get on board jump on board and follow us yes you know we'll make this something special mm-hmm. bye 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 guys